What attitude is fostered by removing God from his rightful place as Creator and Lord? Without a doubt it is one of unthankfulness. In fact, ingratitude always accompanies departure from God. In Romans 1, 21, we read that turning away from God's testimony of himself and creation, which renders the heathen without excuse, made them unthankful as well as vain, foolish and darkened. One of the signs of the last days is that men will be unthankful. See 2 Timothy 3 verse 2. Not many would question that this condition exists today. And the rapidity with which this attitude is permeating all levels of society, accompanied with selfish, hateful words and riotous deeds, only manifests how steadily unthankfulness is engulfing this Christless world. Apostasy is the giving up of truth once nominally held. This is what Christendom is guilty of today. True, there's the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, which reveals it as merely a degenerating profession of Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Only a ministry of Christ can produce an attitude of thankfulness in the heart and cause an expression of true thanksgiving with the lips. The rejection of such ministry only further opens man's sinful selfish heart to display itself more fully, just as it is doing today. How is it with you dear friend? Are you marked out by no thanksgiving in your heart and life? Or are you truly grateful for the grace and the mercy God has shown to you in his blessed son? Have you been cleansed from your sins, and like the leper who was cleansed from his leprosy, returned to give the Lord Jesus thanks for his merciful kindness? Have you received his marvelous gift of eternal life, and do you join in with those who exclaim, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift? Do you realize that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above? Are you therefore known as giving thanks always for all things? If so, you are a product of divine grace, and for this you will be eternally thankful, never ceasing to be amazed that he should have ever loved you. If, however, no thanksgiving characterizes you, be warned that you are in danger of the weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell forever. Then there will be no opportunity nor cause to give thanks. Turn now to God in repentance and by faith, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. By thus accepting Christ as your personal Savior, you will be able to join in the following ascription of grateful eternal thanksgiving as given in Colossians 1 verses 12 through 14. Giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints and light. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. As you can see, dear friend, though the terms, no thanksgiving and unthankful, may not at first, seem too bad, especially since the whole world is characterized by them. They are indeed a serious, solemn warning that we are living in the last days of God's grace, just preceding his righteous judgments. May you heed this warning, and be one of the thankful few who find life in Christ. Thanks for listening and may God bless you this Thanksgiving holiday.